It is our second op day of the school year. Good morning. It is Wednesday, August 15th, 2018. It is our second op day of the school year. I signed in for the first time today. I don't sign in for yesterday because I was at a PD and I do have a certificate so that they know that I was at a PD so they can give it to me as an op day later on in the school year. And yeah, I was supposed to go to a science PD today, but I actually dropped that PD last night because I decided it was far more important for me to be in school today setting up my classroom organizing it I have a meeting with administration this morning at 9 a.m. for all grade level chairs so yeah it's gonna be an exciting day plus I hope to get a lot accomplished because after school at 4 30 a group of us is gonna go to a painting fiesta to do a painting so I think that is amazing it is one of their ways to get the year started in a fun way by creating a painting that we can put up in our classrooms I wonder what the theme is or what the image that we're gonna be painting is so I'm very excited and hopefully I can vlog a little bit about that as well so I wanted to give you a rundown of where the room is right now and what my plans are for today so let me show you right now starting with one of the areas that is the most put together in my classroom is the classroom library which seems like so humongous and my bookshelves now extend to the edge of my promethean board which i kind of try to go up against them because i do use this board for teaching this is the only board that i have to kind of write on that is basically for the date and a couple of other things that i'll show you eventually this one is usually for the essential questions and the standards and our home learning. And this is how I decided to do my computer tables this year, put the tables up against the wall. They were like this before, but I kind of like the L shape, but you know, to maximize the space this year, I am putting them like this for now. I could still change them back. The only reason why I put them like this was because we were trying to put some bookshelves over here, but we decided to put them over here and we'll see but if i do keep them up against the wall like this i mean right now it's a cluttered mess but that will be fixed if i put them up against the wall like this i have more space here so i can kind of move my desk this way which is good because right now where my kidney table is which is for my small group instruction if right now this is a huge gap which is nice but see it's like these desks are right up against it and that's that doesn't work so yeah, that's our computer tables. I might just leave them like that for now. And over here is where I usually put the center where they turn in all their work, which is right here. So this cart, I could put it there now, goes there. And their lunch bins go here. This is where they put their lunch boxes for the day. All right, so then these I have to figure out where to put because I had them over here last year but I may be changing that a bit. So as you can see, let me go back to the front of the classroom so I can show you. As you can see, I still have tons of stuff to put away. All my Harry Potter stuff needs to find places and homes. Um, the desks are still in a U. I believe this is how I'm going to leave it for this year. I like this setup a lot. So I may just move the desk that way. As you can see, there's a lot of clutter and mess on top of all these desks and those books need to be placed in the library. So yeah, my goal is to get all of this pretty much sorted out. I need to figure out a space for these bookshelves. Last year, they were back there, but I really don't wanna cover that space back there. I'm thinking of putting them on top of the cabinets here. I'm wondering how they would look on either side of this bulletin board. I have to print out the posters that go on this bulletin board and make a little cute sign for it and laminate all that so I can put it up. If I put this bookshelf right here, I will put its partner bookshelf on the other side. So there's two bookshelves on either side. That bookshelf used to go on top of this table up against the wall, but I have another bookshelf that I can probably use for that. All right, so this is another big area and I have to set up at least this back table of my teacher work area so that I can then start organizing and fixing things. I also have to start putting things outside in the hallway that I don't want and I wanna give away. I might just put them off to the side, maybe over here for now to kinda of ask my grade level first who wants anything and then I can put it outside. 
So that is the main goal for today. I'm going to organize as much as I can, put it all together. I do have a meeting at nine. I got here so early this morning. I actually woke up around 5.30 at my house and you know, I'm not a morning person, so I have to kind of slowly get up. So I kind of got up, I went on my phone, I went a little bit on Instagram, shared some information with one of my groups, and then I decided, okay, it's time to get ready. I left my house around 6.45, I got here around 7, 10-ish or so, and the school was closed because the head custodian wasn't here yet to open the school building, which I realized afterwards that they were opening the school at 7.30 in the morning. So right now it's 7.32. Yeah, we got in a little bit earlier than 7.30, like 7.28 or so. But I'm here now and I wanna try to do as much as I can before my meeting at 9 a.m. They told me it's gonna be about an hour, so hopefully I can have more time to keep working in my room. So it's very exciting. So I'll show you the process as I go along and my thought process and all that stuff. My goal is to try to declutter most of the surface space in my room so that it looks sort of put together and then I can work on the little tiny details. One thing is this bulletin board here on the back, I'm gonna leave for last. Obviously you can't really see it unless you come all the way into my classroom. And I'll just leave it for last because that's gonna be another skyline and it's gonna take me a while to draw. So I'm gonna actually leave that for last. And right now as it is, it's just gonna look like that and I'll set up that area a little better than it is right now. But yeah, this is the bulk of what I have right now and what I'm gonna be working on throughout the day. So I'll catch up with you later as I keep going and working in my room and giving you updates here and there. All right, see you later. All right, so time for a little update. I went to my meeting this morning. It was really informative and it's information I'm going to share with my team on Friday when we have our grade level meeting. And I didn't show you the rest of me setting up these bookshelves, but let me show you how they look now. I'm not 100% sure this is where I'm gonna keep them for now, but I am going to put them on top of these cabinets because I think it'll be good storage, but I don't know if I want them where they are now or a little bit more separated. I'll show you now. So here are the bookshelves, and right now I put them side by side next to this bulletin board here, and I am gonna use them to put books and other things in there, but I'm not sure if I should leave them there or if I should move it over to the edge that way, and this one move to the edge that way. I mean, I'll have to keep playing it by ear. From this angle here, it kind of covers the bulletin board. I mean, not by a lot, I'm just being picky. But yeah, that's what I did. I also cleared off this area behind my teacher desk because I'm going to try and put another different bookshelf that's missing the top right here and see how it goes. All right, and the rest of the room, I really haven't done much with it. So I still have to get things done. I did change my wallpaper for my Promethean board and I got my remote so I can turn it on. So that's that. All right, and I'm getting a little hungry, but I sort of don't wanna stop because I was talking to some other teachers about the science textbook so I can try to access it. We were talking about pacing guides. I was sending emails out, things like that, but I need to get back into trying to organize as much as I can. So let me get to that now and I'll see you later. So I just came back from meeting with administration about what my team was gonna be doing this year because some of the teachers are departmentalized and two of us are self-contained. So I wanted to make sure the teachers knew exactly what they were doing so that they can set up their rooms accordingly, according to the subject that they're teaching. 
So I haven't made that much progress in my room, but I have done a couple of things here and there from the last time that you saw the speed through. So I wanna show you what they are. First, this is the area behind my desk. So my desk is here, and then this is the area behind my desk. I like to have this table here behind my desk. This is gonna have all my Astro Brights and my white paper and my line paper all sorted out. I have to clear out all my Monday through Friday cart drawers and get rid of stuff that I don't need and haven't used and just use it for the copies that I'll need each day. This is my air purifier, which I have to connect because I run out of outlets in the back because I have my lamp plugged in and I have my new coffee uh, maker plugged in. This one uses carrot cups and I have it here on top of a sorter. So all my tea is on the left and all my coffee is on the right. So I have all different kinds of coffee flavors and this is mocha and this is caramel, but it doesn't actually have dairy, so I could actually have it. So I have it set up here. I do have to buy water so I can use it, and I already have cups. I got this cute little action sign from the children's bedroom section at Target, and when you close it, it lights up. So I'm just going leave to it, leave it up so that it doesn't waste the battery. And this is where I'm going to have all my teacher editions, and I'll have a couple, like, maybe decorative pieces in there. This is my mini fridge that I got from Amazon for like $40 and I'm able to keep, they're not in there right now because I have to get water, but I'm able to keep the little pint-sized bottle of water. Um, I can put six in there laying on their sides or I can put four of the tall bottles in here. And this is a nice flower arrangement that I made myself. And I have my motivation wall here and my dry erase calendar that's going to have things added to it soon. My cute little magnetic cacti plants from Target. And this whiteboard is going to have some family photos. And this is my desk for now. It looks pretty empty, but I assure you it's going to have a lot of stuff. I do have my Ray Dunn little uh, stationery holder that I got from Home Goods. This is my little bag that houses my hard drive, which is right there right now. That's the wallpaper I showed you before. This I got from Target, and it's going to house some of my stationery and things like that. And as you can see, my room is still a royal mess. I just haven't been able to organize everything, and I need to purge, purge, purge. But I did start putting some of the Harry Potter decorative pieces over here. Here is the Triwizard Cup on my little table here. And let me just turn it on for you so that you can see. Did put batteries in it so it looks like that how neat is that let me turn it off so i don't waste the battery because i'll only have it on for effect maybe during parent drop-in tomorrow i'm not tomorrow friday <laughs> i keep forgetting it's still wednesday and here's hedwig and i'm not sure if i'm going to keep this here i just put it here for now i do have the deathly hollows lamp and oh yeah the on switch is in the back this is how it looks turned on so let me turn it off as well Okay, I found another tea light to put here, so that is there. And I already know what I'm gonna do with these, but I have to actually create it. Here's another little decorative piece and some more cups. I might put the cups together. I put my author's chair together, which is a director's chair that I got years and years and years ago from Lowe's that were on clearance. And I put my pillows here for now. This is a royal mess, but I do have to get it all sorted together. I did have my turn it in center here and I do have to change all the labels, obviously, because this year I'm teaching all the subjects and I'm self-contained. These blue bins are the bins that the students used to put their lunch bags and water bottles in, so they're not in the way. And yeah, this is basically the rest of the room and all the stuff that I need to do. So I'm gonna continue working and I'm gonna see how much I got done because I am going to a painting fiesta in less than an hour to do a painting and I can't wait to do that and I'll be sure to vlog a little bit about that. Maybe I can set up my tripod so that you can see a time lapse of me creating the painting. That would be fun. Or maybe snippets here and there. So I haven't decided what I'm gonna do in this back area. I know what I'm gonna put here, that's fine. I'll, I'll do that last. This will go up here. I think I'm gonna put it in this corner because it's not that visible and it's gonna house my binders because it is a shelf, a catty corner, corner shelf for binders. And I have brand new binders in here that are all black. So I'll be using all of these binders to put my lesson plans, data, all that stuff. I have my old binders which are there. They don't look as nice. So I'm gonna put them all in black. Yeah, some of them are bigger than one inch, but I'm just gonna condense, condense, condense. 
and get rid of stuff. All right, so let me continue getting my stuff done. Oh, I forgot to mention also, I don't know if I mentioned that before, but all of my credentials are out there. I do like to put them up because you know what? We teachers, we are professionals. And we should showcase that because we're big deal. All right, so let me go ahead and see what else I can do for now. And then I'll catch up with you when I'm on my way to a painting fiesta. See you soon. All right, so I only managed to do a couple of little things right now in my room, which I'll show tomorrow. Actually, I'm running a little late to the painting activity, so I'm walking right now towards my car. So I'll take you along with me and see what we end up painting, and maybe we can put it in our art gallery in our classroom. All right, see you there. I hope the lighting is good because it's actually almost eight o'clock and it's already starting to get dark but I had a great time at a painting fiesta I hope you were able to see through the speed through I know I had to set it like off an angle because the other teachers that were there didn't want to be in the video which is fine and this is what we did and you already saw it we're all part of a great puzzle and this is gonna go into our classrooms and basically the teachers that came today were all the teachers in the ESC department I do teach gifted and gifted is under ESC and we also had the other ESC teachers there we had a great time and it was such a great experience and I was just telling them we should do this every year like before the year starts obviously not during the week where we're preparing our classrooms and things like that but maybe the week before we should all make a tradition where we just go and make a painting for our classrooms for that year and spend time together it was really great and I know I could have spent time in my classroom getting it ready and finishing it off but actually I really needed this because I was so anxious today and stressed out and as I was painting it was so relaxing and I really enjoyed my time and I hope you enjoy coming along with me so this is the end of day seven of my classroom setup I hope you enjoy coming along with me and it is the first day that I was at school officially since yesterday it was an op day and I was at a PD as you remember but today is a day that I am actually in the school building getting together with my teachers and planning and doing all that so tomorrow is the opening of school meeting I'll try to vlog about that as well I might not be able to vlog too much because it's just gonna be a meeting most of the day but if I do get into my classroom to set up then I'll definitely videotape that as well so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to hit the like button leave a comment down below let me know what you thought or any questions you may have also if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos I hope you have a beautiful magical day and don't forget to smile see you next time